I'm hoping that this stupid camera works now. It, uh, it looked like it was working and then it just turned off. But the, the reason why I'm making these, um, these really stupid videos, I could, and I'll say they're stupid, I know they're stupid. The reason why is because I'm just trying to prove to everybody that the VR180 format needs to be used. Um, people really need to be exploiting it. Not the just the porn people, you know. Um, we all need to be making use of this as much as possible because um, it's not only the effect of it being wow, you know. Um, it's immersive. It's like you're there, and um, it there's a whole lot of a lot of things it can bring to the table, you know. Um, a lot of a lot of room for um, I foresee in the future that it would be great if this was the way that people are able to get back to the theater get back to the sports arenas get back to all the things that they love to be where they love to be because there are some people that just will never be able to do that they'll never be able to travel and this is how you do it um, if you need to go, if you need to be places, if you're on your deathbed and you didn't feel like you never got to go to France, somebody out there should be having one of these cameras going around France, showing all the sites, um, doing a complete package, sell it for twenty, thirty dollars, and give it at make it accessible so that somebody with a VR headset can watch it on their deathbed. I mean, seriously, is, has anybody got any scruples, any any shame, you know, any empathy? That's empathy, you know, being able to bring something to somebody who doesn't have the capacity to visit somebody. And that, you know, some they, that one part of their bucket list they didn't, they didn't cover, you know. It isn't the same thing as, as, um, traveling to France. It's not the same thing as traveling to a foreign nation, but if you haven't the capacity to do it and it's in your last days, it might be eye-opening. It might cause a person to cry to actually get some of the experience of actually being in that country. And then you, those people could be brave. People could give them a taste of French food or, you know, and, you know, somehow complete the experience, you know. But here I'm bringing you to Texas. You want to know what it's like to be in Texas? This is what it's like to be in Texas. We're not all super rich. I'm kind of super rich. I just got lots of junk and lots of tech junk. I'm a techie. That computer right there, um, the graph, I, when I bought it, um, I was pulling the graphics card out of it and I accidentally stripped the graphics card from the motherboard or I actually pulled the uh, graphics um, thing out of the motherboard and I thought, well, this is completely useless. And then I realized that the chipset had its own, uh, the motherboard had its own video card in it. And so I could still use it as a Linux server and that's kind of what it is now. I just don't use it because uh, I got, that's a Linux server. That's a Linux server. That's a Linux server. That's a Linux server. I got four Linux servers in here, and I'm only using one, um, that guy. And I'm really not using anything, really. And here's my, my VR headsets. One of my VR headsets. You can probably guess what I use this one for. But um, the other one I use for Minecraft. This right here is a Raspberry Pi. And you've probably seen these. My brother gave this to me for my birthday. And uh, you can see there's a heat sink. That's got to be the CPU down there. There's the fan. What this guy's for is for uh, MAME emulation. Uh, he got it for me so that I could play the old 80s arcade games we used to play when we were young. The games we used to shovel quarters into and play, you know, head to head which was like the best times of my youth was listening to 70s, 80s music, playing arcade games in arcades 
shoveling quarters into these machines. And, you know, I, the biggest kick I ever got whenever I was like nine or 10 was when my parents would take us down to the gold mine in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. They had this um, mall, and I forgot what the name of the mall was, but there was this place in there called the Gold Mine, and you'd go down the escalators, you'd go into the Gold Mine, and they'd have about 30, 40 arcade machines, and they also had um, skee ball, a skee ball machine. And uh, to that, to me as a kid, that was like, that was like heaven as far as I was concerned. And it was a getting to go in and play any kind of arcade game and pay, play it against my brothers and to listen to the sights and the sounds of the, I mean, the, the rock music playing, blaring over some of my favorite music playing and, um, and it just being so dark in there that you couldn't really see where anybody was. And, but it was, it was, no, it was great. It was a great time. And I can remember all that stuff. And I have not had that experience. As long as I've played video games, I have not had anything near that experience or like that experience ever since the 80s. Um, that's the way people's childhoods are. It's that time when they were really happy and nothing was really bothering them so much, or at least it was for me. My parents were Christian and they didn't beat us or anything like that. So I don't, I don't have any bad experiences in my past. Um, if I'm bad, it's as a result of what I, of my own choices, um, not so much what they did. And, um, so anyhow, the, uh, this is, and I, I may publish those singing videos. I don't think anybody's really going to care all that much, and if they do, I'm going to I'm going to shut down my YouTube site because uh, my YouTube source and everything because I don't want to get popular. And popularity is fame is not worth it. I don't I don't want fame. Uh, I just wanted to spread a little bit of information to inspire maybe ten maybe a hundred people. That's enough. You know, you don't need to inspire more than, inspiring a million people just doesn't make any sense to me, you know. I'd rather inspire maybe a hundred, hundreds, fine. That's actually too much. Even 10 is fine. Um, for me, YouTube, the only reason why I would put videos up is just to get the crap that's in my head out. And so I don't, so I'm not bothered by it. Um, it's a kind of therapy. So anyhow, and what I would really like, and rather than me become famous, I would rather the idea of bringing back something like MTV first year, um, doing that with YouTube and then making it so that everybody has the capacity to experience, um, non music videos at least experience something that's free but isn't going to tax you for money um it seems like everybody is bent on survival nobody really just does something for free anymore um nobody just tries to give back um they they spend most of their time trying to figure out how to get day to day and I understand that but that it's like everybody's just sucking the life out of each other and we need to stop doing that we need to kind of kind of luber provide a little bit of lubrication you know um, lubrication means something I mean lubrication like in a the oil inside of a car if you don't properly lubricate a car it, it stops being um, it stops being a great experience and it turns to one that is that is very dulling and um, terrible because the car, you know, it, it makes run on its last legs. It's working beyond its means. No person should ever have that experience. I can only imagine that God is sitting up in heaven and he's just 
it makes him frustrated to see how people are able to just keep taking from each other and not like ever giving enough room for people to like actually experience something good and without somebody crying about it you know and i do it and i'm sure he cries over me and things i do but uh and possibly he's not doesn't even care anymore i don't know um but for me it's kind of possibly going on the out i'm on my 50th birthday i'm not really really celebrating anything much oh I'll, I'll probably go and eat somewhere not today we're gonna do it a different day because my mom's not feeling so good and uh So the, the thing is, is that uh, it's another day. It may be your 50th birthday, but to me, it's just another day. And uh, I mean, there could be an error in the computation. You know, how would I know? How would I know it was my 50th? And uh, as far as I'm concerned, the best birthdays I ever had were when I was young, when I was 10. When I, when I was, I can, I can't even remember those, but I can remember kind of the, the gestalt of, of my birthdays, the kind of the, the idea, the, 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 the containment of, you know, I said gestalt, I got that from art school. That's the kind of, I don't know if that's the proper use of the word, but, uh, It's like if I if I could I could probably create a cubist um, rendition of of a birthday party and it would look like all it would look like a collage of photos cut up in a million pieces from an arcade um, from several arcade places I had been in my life whenever I was young and then it might throw in a few pictures of some some pretty girls and stuff like that but I mean. It's all just excitement and neon and and, uh, and sounds and um, things that are exciting. And uh, this room's not all that exciting, but this is this is the excitement room, I guess. Um, what I like to do is I like to uh, turn on the TV, but this I don't watch TV. Not anymore. I haven't watched TV the way other people watch TV for a decade. Uh, I think what really did it for me was just getting so depressed over Fox TV and just kind of losing touch with not really being all that impressed with modern comedy and stories. Um, a lot has been lost you know you always hear that and you don't know it until you've had the experience and now in the 70s and the 80s um the reason why people are so melancholy for them is because we had such few choices and um we had the choice of listening to records or cds but the thing is is that everybody listened to the same stuff today that's not the case everybody is has so many choices that nobody shares much of anything. They they share American Idol. Um, they probably have a desire to share such things, but I don't see it as quite as this, much the same thing. I think people do that. I, uh, I don't even know why I got a password on my Linux machine. up one of the browsers
I'll probably start this camera up again. No, I'm gonna, not gonna restore anything. Really rock me up this. Rock me in this. That's that's my destination. That's where I tend to go. Um, I do too tend to go to YouTube, but Rock Me Amadeus is my own favorite little place to hang out. There we go. Let's set this up for 12, 12, 5, 12, 6, like I did the other day. Uh, you can see it. That's insane. Five was better. You can't see that. Let's do this. Let's do it like I did the other day. And make it really huge. Uh, I'll do some 60s maybe. I wonder if they can catch me if I change the speed of the video. So let's change it to yeah I can't do that let's let's go to that I mean if I do it then they're gonna get me for uh, modern music I'd like to there's lots of stuff I'd like to show like only if they give me the permissions to do it music and story been to Cheyenne it's an hour we get to the hospital and at that time of night it's Cheyenne mainly all they deal with is car accidents so they bring me in and the nurse on duty goes weren't wearing a seatbelt were you I'm like all right we get up on the thing she starts to take my shirt off to check my vitals and she whoops oh whoops how did I do that let's see if I can go uh Rock me. Get back there. And I've got my appointment with my surgeon that saved my life. I've got to go. Let me get on my way. So. Let me bring this back. I'm in. Uh, I'm well, in. Well, just, just go to the very I'm beginning. This is really great. I remember this guy. He, he uh, experienced a you know, really I was, tragedy. I was in a world of Lots of tragedy. Everything hurt. Um, my body, my head. I was an emotional and a physical wreck. And I looked over at the caller ID and I could see that it was the district attorney's office calling. And so I knew that and, it was. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to reset the camera.